Welcome to our Zingati Chalk Talk on virtualization success in healthcare. As we all know, virtualization works, but virtualization is being blamed for a number of problems that really are just configuration or tuning issues. We talked to a lot of healthcare providers, so what I'm going to do today is show you how Zingati's mantra, which you see in other Chalk Talks, of see it, see the problem, record it, and share it, is going to help you create virtualization success in healthcare. And today we're going to spend a lot of time on seeing the problem with these success stories. So the first one, I had a customer that had a patient care application for interoperability. It was in the middle of being upgraded. Over 30 servers were being used because it was being upgraded to a virtual environment. It was not working at all. Their existing monitoring tools showed all green lights. So obviously virtualization was the problem, right? Virtualization was being blamed. When you install Zangadi, what it showed was that there were two VMs that were just going at each other, talking so incessantly that the application itself ground to a halt. So it was a problem with an application and VM-to-VM -VM communication. We showed them that, showed it to the vendor, the vendor fixed the problem, application and pilot are off to the races again. Successful implementation. Another one had a healthcare provider where all their health apps just stopped working. Their EMR app stopped working, their email stopped working, and the whole network basically ground to a halt for a couple of seconds, a couple of times every single day. All the lights they had, all the tools they had showed green. Everything looked good. So why was everything dying? The problem was, was that large images were being moved across their network for doctors to look at radiology diagrams, etc. And they, the network had not been configured properly since the adoption of virtualization. So virtualization was being blamed for what was really just a network configuration problem. But because they could see it and prove that virtualization was not to blame, they solved the problem and we have a virtualization success. Another example, workstations on wheels. Organization that they were looking at buying more workstations on wheels because the doctor said they, they were never available. Well, the problem was, <laughs> was that they implemented virtualization, changed some of the configurations around, and the majority of these workstations on wheel carts could no longer talk to the back-end servers and applications they needed to. So what we had there was a server problem with a network problem coupled into a virtualization issue. By being able to see that, see that the problem was a configuration issue, virtualization was no longer being blamed, they fixed the problem, and they had another success story with a back-end virtualization project. Another example, VDI, Virtual Desktop Infrastructure. Very common, allows doctors to access patient records from any, basically any desk, any laptop, in any hospital, any office, anywhere in their organization. Very useful, very helps doctors be more productive. But a lot of the pilots have problems. Basically, they don't work well. Why? Well, lots of reasons. So one of the things we've seen is that in one case, we had a backup job that we discovered. It was a storage problem. Backup job that was backing up all of the end user devices, basically all the virtual desktops, all of their files were being backed up during the day. Backup job started at midnight, it kept running through the day, created a latency problem, couldn't access the virtual desktops, couldn't get any value from it. Of course, it's virtualization's fault, right? Actually, it wasn't. Virtualization was not to blame. It was a backup job. By being able to see that and prove that virtualization is not to blame, we have a success. In another case, it was basically the configuration, the frame rate on the end user devices, and the USB redirection capabilities have been turned on. That was taking up too much bandwidth from the network, too high latency, user contention issues, unhappy, dead pilot. By being able, by being able to see what was going on there, solve the problem, virtualization success story. So what's the summary here? It's really about visibility, being able to see the problem no matter, where, no matter where it resides. Is it in the application? Is it in the network? Is it with a server or storage issue? Is it with an application in the cloud? We can show you that as well. Is it with another VM or is it with an end user device? In all of these cases, it's about the visibility to see the problem and prove that virtualization is not to blame. Hope you find this Chalk Talk helpful. Um, my recommended next stops, go to Zingadi.com, learn a little more, download our free ESX product. You can try it out in your own environment. 
you have a large environment, request a Zingati management dashboard, which gives you visibility into multiple hosts. Thank you very much for joining us.